Hi, this is Greg. I think I'm probably going to have this collage or this assemblage finished up by this afternoon sometime. Uh, this got, I've got some really interesting stuff on this particular collage. I've got an old piece of stationery from the Great Northern Railroad Railway Line from 1908 and it has something to do with Spokane, Washington and I, I really don't know what else it says on here but it's a great uh, piece of original ephemera from uh, several years ago. Uh, again, I've got some old labels from uh, medicine bottles that I've used. Uh, and I've kind of designed my own little, uh, I guess you could call them jewelry pieces. I've got a big bag of these snaps. I'm not even really sure how these are used, but again, I got these at a garage sale or yard sale of some kind. And in each of the snaps, I put in a, um, a little tiny rhinestone. I've got a, uh, I, this might have been a rhinestone, um, I don't know, necklace or, or some piece of a, a jewelry at one point, but I take the little rhinestones off and I put a little rhinestone piece in each of my little snaps around my uh, drug label. I've got my vintage photo again, and on the photo, I usually, uh, I like doing things with the head and the hair and I've used money on the back on the on the top of this head. I was in uh, Argentina many years ago and I have some leftover Argentina money uh, 100 Australis I think the way it's pronounced and uh, if you're Argentinian I hope you forgive me because I've actually torn up a little bit of your money. I think this is probably worth pennies today it's not worth very much but it sure made a nice little uh, hairpiece for this guy. I've also got some interesting things here for the eyes. I've got another bag of some little doodads that kind of look like this. I've used several of these, two of these actually, for the eyes and a couple plastic half globes on top of that to give him, uh, to give him kind of a googly-eyed look. And at this point, <clears throat> I'm going to take my frame, and by the way, on the frame, back of the frame, let me show you what I've done. I've got a couple test tubes filled with my yellow uh, flaky stuff again. Uh, I just happened to get these test tubes, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, and I'm just kind of starting to experiment with them and use them a little bit, fill them up with, with whatever. But I've got them uh, anchored with silicone on the back of my frame. By the way, I use silicone, 100% silicone, quite a bit. You can buy it at Home Depot or, or wherever they sell caulking kinds of materials. And like I usually do, this is going to fit over the top in this fashion. And I'm really not quite done with this yet because at this point I'm going to put some little circular pieces down on top of my glass. Let me get them centered here. And then in each of the circular pieces, I want to, uh, I've got some little tiny round mirrors with some, I call them floaters. They're just little pieces that, that lift the object up a little bit. I'm going to put my little tiny glass mirrors inside each of the uh, circular pieces. I tend to use a lot of circular stuff in my collages. And that's kind of the way this thing is going to look. I can't pick it up and show you, but I'll uh, take some pictures of it and show you a little later what it looks like. But this will be completed this afternoon, and I really like this one. I like all of my stuff, but this one I really like.